What's up YouTube? So today I got a couple packages in. So yeah, if I good day for the weekend to be here. Um anyway, let me show you some got some new pants. Kind of tactical looking pants and and uh, it shed water really well. Nice and very nice and durable. But I'm sorry about those. They got black and I'm brown. It's pretty cheap there, like 14 bucks on uh, something I seen on uh, Amazon or on Instagram. But uh, yeah, they're like 14 bucks. Can't go wrong for a pair of pants. 14 bucks but anyway let's get down to the real business I got a shipment in and I'm going to turn you down so you guys can see what I got that's what I got let's clean things out of the plank knives I got a shipment of knives in, ready to be sold to you guys. Um, if you are interested, send me a comment. Go to my email. It's in my about section on my on my channel. Um, email me. We'll, uh, yeah, let's check these things out. So. These are all custom made. I uh, I draw up a plan, send it to the guy. He he uh, just kind of goes off my drawing, and, and so far it's worked pretty good. But no knife is going to be the same. You know what I mean? The, you got a certain style, but then and then, but no knife's going to be the same. But it's custom made knife, so. Anyway, these are all leather sheets. They're thick. They have a welt in them. So, you're not going to cut through the threads. Nice belt loop. Nice belt loop on them. They all got lanyard holes if you want to put a lanyard on them. I prefer not to have a lanyard, lanyard on my knives. It uh, just gets in the way. But anyway, let's check these out. Uh, Hold on. So what I'm going to do, I just uh, number them. If you like them, just say the number. First one, it's uh, these are uh, high uh, high carbon steel 1087, I think 84, 87. I'm not sure exactly. I think it's 87, but don't it could be 1084. Not quite sure. I'll leave it. I'll find it and put it on the screen right now. So it. Uh, does have my channel name subscribed in it. It's got a little finger choil right there, here. And so your hand fits good in it, right like that. And then you can choke up on it, really get in there. So that's number one. I'm not sure the wood, they this one is, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, I will try and find out. But there's number one. Number two, and again, guys, these these are not slack ass sheets. These are real freaking leather, heavy duty, nice, and you can wet form them so they they fit killer. Um, knife number two is uh is kind of a different 
and it's got a good good hand, handle for your hand it fits really well uh, it um, all right number three uh, it's kind of a uh, I'm not sure exactly what it represents but uh, it's a nice blade it fits good in the hand again it's that red wood that I'm not sure exactly what it is but uh, it's got a good belly for skinning um, be a great skinner nice nice belly on it um, so yeah there number three number four same handle uh, good it's good heavy knife 316 steel again high carbon 1087 1084 I'm not sure exactly but uh, one of those two um, so there's number four number five another one with the big belly be a good skin and knife it's kind of got this cool handle on it right there where it, kind of like an arrow kind of looks cool and like I said these these are custom made knives and they're they're gonna be one of a kind but uh, so the first round of knives I it's good nice I like the sheaths man they're great they fit good nice and tight they're not gonna come out on you um, uh, like I said, you know, ha I would wet form these if it were me. Um, it, it helps with the leather too. And once you start getting, um, leather conditioner on it and wet form it and condition, leather conditioner on it, it's, it's good. So anyway, here's number six. Again, one of these, uh, skinning knives not real pointy but uh, it would be good for I uh, carve out bowls or whatever spoon if you, I mean you know but uh, that's number six number seven this is uh, one of my first runs of knives when I was first talking to him that yeah, mirror finish on that looks good huh? kind of a kind of a, a rustic metal on it but uh, that's number seven. Anyway, if you guys are interested, please leave a comment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven knives, all for sale. Um, they, they, they're, uh, they hold a good edge, and once you put an edge, good edge on them, they hold a good edge. They stay sharp. They're, uh, and you know. It's probably not 1095 still, which which is better still. And I've talked to the guy about making the steel out of 1095, and he said that wouldn't be a problem. Or we might go the route of D2 steel, uh, which is really hard, but you, you don't have to sharpen it as much as you would 1095 or 1084, 1087. Uh, D2 steel is really hard takes a minute to get the edge on but once you do have the edge on it it uh it stays sharp for a while i have a my my favorite deer hunting knife it's made by knives of alaska it's d2 still and i have I, so yeah check these out leave a comment or just email me go to the about page get my email it's uh outdoor life 1978 uh, at gmail.com Okay, so we now we've got the knives done, taken care of. Um, like I said, the sheaths are a wonderful leather, good fitting sheath, nice quality. And the knives are one of a kind, you know what I mean? You're not going to have the same production knife as everybody else does, you know? Um, if you want uh, your name on it or your channel name, like whatever. Uh, just let me know too because I can have that done as well because I've gotten so many knives from this fellow PK manufacturing um, 
he sent me one for for me, like uh, my blade, my my, and I didn't know he was sending this, but uh, look how cool that is. Look what he did on the spine. Again, it's that red wood with walnut. I'm not sure what that red wood is, but uh, it's got three, four pins in it. You put my name on it. This is a, this is a good knife. A leather sheath. This one's in black. But th that's another thing. These are all double stitched. Double stitched leather sheaths, man. They're good. But uh, yeah, he sent me this for for myself. Which I do appreciate you for doing that. So anyway, if you want a knife, say the number. We'll get it sent out to you. Um, make an offer on them. You know what I mean? If I can say yes or no, you know. Uh, obviously, these are nice knives, and they're gonna hold up really well. They're built really well. They're and they're, they're good blades. Uh, probably starting out around fifty dollars, I would imagine. That's pretty fair for a custom-made knife. Um, so yeah, but uh, I'm gonna get on out of here. But it's been real. And it's been fun. It's been real fun. Thanks, guys.